Amos 4.13 says, look who it is. The mountain shaper, the wind maker. He created the foundations of the earth. He brings everything out of nothing like dawn out of darkness. He strides upon the highest point of the earth. Who is it? It is God. That's Amos 4.13 and the reason why I wanted to tell you that today because I wanted to focus on the key part of that scripture that talks about how he brings everything out of nothing but how he is the wind maker. The title of the message today is Catch the Wind. The reason why I'm telling you to catch the wind is because when birds fly, they can catch the wind and it can help them do three things. It helps them to elevate, progress forward, and it also can help them to rest. Because see, when a surge of wind comes through, it can actually elevate a bird higher than what it's already flying. When it comes through, it can also progress a bird further and faster than what it was already going. And also, sometimes when the wings are just out enough, good enough, that surge of wind can allow that bird to rest from flapping its wings. So today I'm here to tell you to catch the wind from the wind maker, the Most High God, who is possibly sending a wind in your life so that you can be elevated to a new level, so that you can progress forward to areas that you need to, and so that in areas where you have been frustrated and hurting and pain, you can rest. That is what catching the wind does for you. But what you have to do is stay in alignment and connected to God and have that relationship continually growing so that you can discern when the wind maker is sending wind in your life to be able to elevate you, to be able to progress you, to be able to give you rest at the times when needed. We all have areas of struggle. We all have areas of where we would like to grow. We all have areas where we would want to see elevation. But what you have to understand is that you have to stay connected through his word and by his staying in his presence and worshiping him consistently with prayer and walking in your truth and your righteousness and being close to him so that you can discern when he's getting ready to send the wind that he has made just for your life. So get ready to catch the wind because we are all flying through this thing called life. And whenever God sends wind of elevation or progression and rest, we need to be aware of it because God is trying to always continuously grow us and take us to new places and move us forward into things out of our comfort zone and give us rest from things and let us know that you don't always have to do it on your own. I'm here to lift you up when you need it. So remember that when you catch the wind of God that he has made specifically for you because you are his child, that he is doing it to elevate you, progress you, and give you rest in the areas that you have been trying to fly on your own in. Be blessed and have an amazing weekend, and I will see you next week.